Hi guys, good morning. This is Eunice and I am here today to talk to you about the health benefits of chickweed. And uh, we have chickweed um, in capsule forms right here. And this is actually a 50 count. And also too, um, what I wanted to do with my client is I wanted her also to use chickweed uh, as a liquid. So what I did, I put the chickweed in here uh, for her to use as a tea or she can put it in water and drink it and so forth. So let's go through the importance and the health benefits of chickweed. Okay, now chickweed is a leafy uh, plant. Uh, chickweed is basically used for uh, constipation and so forth. And through uh, my work experience and so forth, I find that there are a lot of people that have IBS uh, and they have uh, trouble with... Um, um, their vowels. Some uh, times people are born like that with issues and so forth, and sometimes they develop this uh, during, you know, throughout their years and so forth. Uh, one of my best friend's sons had were constipated, and uh, he was I get I wanted the people that was born like that, and he constantly had constip uh, constipation, had to constantly take laxatives to use the bathroom. And things like that so um, and uh, it is a serious issue and uh, this is one reason um, that I'm discussing it now because uh, it may seem common um, you know to not go to the bathroom and so forth but in reality it is it's, it's not common and it is a health problem um, a person should at least go to the bathroom at least three times a day uh, if you're not going at least three times a day, you should at least be able to go at least once a week. If you're not able to go at least once a week, then you know that you do have a serious problem. Um, you know, and things like that. Because you do need to go to the bathroom. You need to get the toxins out of your system and all that. So, um, chickweed is for uh, constipation. And uh, a lot of other bowel problems and so forth, stomach problems, because if you have bowel problems, you're going to have stomach problems as well. Um, it's also for asthma, uh, blood disorders, and things like that. So uh, it's also uh, for uh, vitamin C deficiency. So chickpeas, uh, chickweed, excuse me, I'm thinking about food now because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> chickweed is definitely a good uh, herb to take um, for constipation. It's a um, very mild um, herb for constipation, and it actually helps, you know, to um, ease the passing of the bowels and things like that. Uh, ch uh, chickweed also can be used as an oil uh, to apply onto your skin. Uh, to help with skin problems, including boils, abscess, and ulcers, and so forth, things like that. So this is a very, very important um, herb, is chickweed. It is not one of the herbs that is talked about a lot, but it is very beneficial um, to people. Uh, and it's very beneficial to get this information out for constipation because no one should be running around without being able to move their bowels and things like that. Uh, it just creates so many problems and so forth. Uh, I've had some clients come to me to say, this is wrong, that is wrong, and things like that. And then when you talk to them and get the information and stuff out, out of them, you find out that they're constipated, and you know that this is one of the reasons why all these other things have been created, and so forth, because of the toxins in their bodies, and so forth. They're not getting that out, and everything is in, so it's just causing havoc with everything else, and so forth. Uh, even in, uh, included with the pimples and so forth on your skin, skin breaking out and things like that. Um, all of this could become from constipation. So if you're not constipated and so forth, you will find that um, a lot of this stuff will not even occur and things like that. Uh, skin breakout, skin ulcers, boils, and other um, 
other issues that you can actually see on the surface and so far. Some of the problems that, um, you know, constipation call is not on the surface, but a lot of this stuff is on the surface and so far that it's called, and people don't think about that, it's because they're constipated, and actually they don't know. Um, so, uh, chickweed is a great thing to get and have into your house and so far, and like I said, you can get it in two uh, formulations. Most of the herbs um, you can do in several formulations. Um, you can create the teas, um, the tonics, the elixirs, the decoctions, capsules, and things like that. And I, uh, in my shop, in my um, um, business and so far, I do this with um, a lot of different herbs and so far. I create like from one herb, different formulations so far because that's how people take them. That's how, you know, you want people to be able to take them is then through the different formulations because, you know, some people may not can ha handle the bitter taste of the herb and then some people, you know, may not be able or want to swallow the capsules. So you have to, like, be able to do different formulations and so forth and everything to have. Um, also, too, um, one of the other things you can do is, um, you know, when you trying different herbs with your clients and so forth, um, you know, kind of mix them and so forth. So thank you.